This week on the J-Turn. Yes! For land speed racing enthusiasts, the Texas Mile is a highly anticipated biannual speed fest. Held in the small town of Beeville and located on a runway formerly used by the Navy, its 8,000-foot track grants drivers a full one-mile straightaway as well as a half-mile shutdown, making it the perfect place for acceleration junkies to flat-foot it in insanely overpowered vehicles. Now, I've done a standing mile before, but I have never done one in a John Hennessy tuner car. Hey Jesse, thanks for coming out. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, good stuff. Is this my ride? This right is here? your ride. Right. So here we are, 2013 Texas Mile. You got a standing mile out here on the 8,000 foot runway here in Beeville, Texas. And today we don't just have a uh, Camaro ZL1, we have a 750 horsepower nice. Camaro ZL1. So 2013 six speed manual transmission. We've taken the 580 horsepower 6.2 liter supercharged V8 from Chevrolet and we bump it up to 750 horsepower with our with our upgrade package. So you'll have one mile to run. I'm guessing the car might run 180 in the mile. Okay. I mean, I think that you go out there, hit all your gears, you're gonna run through the lights in fifth gear. And depending on the weather, I mean, 180 would be a strong number for this car. This car stock would probably do mid 150s okay. in a mile. And you've got other cars out here like modified four GTs that are working hard to run 180 in a mile. So yeah. to run 180 miles an hour and from a standing start to one mile, is a pretty big deal. All right. So let's take it to the grid. All right. Here's the key. Have fun. Awesome. All right. Thanks, John. Go for it. I wasn't the only driver boasting a Hennessy vehicle on the grid. Just a few lanes over, Patrick O'Gorman was prepping the camo wrapped Hennessy Ford GT and hoping to set a new record for the event. I was eager to set my own record, but I first had to advance from my Class C license to Class B by running between 140 and 165 miles per hour. All right, so I'm ready for my first run. All I'm right. really excited. So here we are. Uh, you got a mile to run. You got to do a qualifying run. So what I want you to do is basically go out, just ease it out. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to do a mega burnout. You just go through the gears, be nice and smooth, pay attention to your speed, and basically you're going to shift it five grand. Okay, okay. you're going to kind of short shift it. Um, you're going to run up through fifth gear, and when you see something close to 160, let out of it. And then at that point, you'll have qualified, and you can go back out on the second run, and you can let it run for all the marbles. Okay. All right, all let's right. do it. Ready to do it. Okay. What made this objective unique was that the only seat time I'd had in the ZL1 was a half-mile drive from our camp to the grid. That was it. I hadn't even put the car in second gear before launching it down the runway. But that just made things even more exciting. And it's the kind of thing where as soon as you're done, you just want to do it again, right away. second run, I hit 180, 151 in the half mile. It was an awesome run. John gave me great coaching. He told me to you know, basically take it up to 6,000 RPM, whereas my first run, I was shifting around 5,000 RPM. So 
I, I held it in there longer, got more power as a result, and, and was able to exceed 165 because I had graduated into my next license class. So now, now I can just go flat foot it without worrying. Banging the gears, it sounded like, you know, more yeah. like 6,500 RPM. Your half mile speed was, you know, right on the mark, a little over you know, in the low 150s, and yep. I think you're right at 180, so. Yes. The car's very consistent. Uh, okay. I'm hoping for in the morning, you've got cool air, you've got uh, the confidence that you've already made some good passes. Hopefully we'll have some better wind or no wind, and you go out and maybe run something in the mid 180s. Yeah, I hope so. Having completed my runs for day one, I was ready to check out the rides of my fellow speed hungry enthusiasts. Oh, 184, oh my God. Immediately noticeable at this year's event were droves of Corvettes, a fair share of Cadillac CTSVs, and plenty of Mustangs, as well as a few unique and impressively ambitious teams. Meet the Chavez Motorsports Engineering Team, a group of students from Chavez High School who've taken on the challenge of turning a stock 2006 Pontiac GTO into a 700 horsepower race car. Led by their science teacher and former racer Greg Ditch, the students have been working on their car since January and are hoping to see their efforts pay off. We're going to try to go for hopefully high 60s. After several runs, it was clear the math and science lessons had served them well because their GTO achieved a top speed of 175 miles per hour, giving racers and spectators alike an inspiring end to our first day at the mile. Right, Jess, here we go. Yeah, my it's last Saturday run. Saturday morning, last run. Um, the difference today is, is you've got confidence in the car. Yeah. You're gonna pull the pull the lever at 6,500. You're gonna get a, an, a, a good launch, but you're not gonna do a John Force. No. Throw it sideways for the first 500 feet. <laughs> no. Um, no losing and, time on my launch. And the big difference today is is the weather. It's it's a little bit cooler. Yesterday we were kind of fighting a crosswind. Now we've got a slight tailwind. It's probably 10, 12 degrees cooler. Um, and the tailwind is running about five, six miles an hour. So will that five or six mile an hour translate into five or six mile an hour in speed at the end of the track? Probably not, but I think maybe 183. Okay, all is right. Is our number, you okay. know, for today. I'm gonna try to do so, it for you. Uh, you've been very consistent. I've been real impressed. You just go Thank out there you. and do what you've been doing and okay. we'll let the car and the weather do the rest. All right. All right, have fun. All right, Be careful. thanks, John. All right, thanks. did awesome. I mean, we were shooting for 180 at the beginning of this deal. She got her 180 yesterday, we thought with the cooler air, a little bit of a tailwind, we might see 183, 185 would be awesome, and 186.6 mile an hour for the standing mile. It's really impressive for a car that you can drive every day, runs on pump gas, and Jesse Lang had never driven this car until she showed up here to the Texas Mile, so awesome job, Jesse, awesome job, 
Chevy with the ZL1, awesome to the guys at Hennessy for giving it a little extra horsepower. I wasn't the only one who had luck at the track. Patrick O'Gorman set the new Texas mile record in the Hennessy Ford GT with a speed of 267.6 miles per hour. Looks like it's time for the mile and a half. <laughs> 